USPAT page 208, Ethics Rule-Management Continued. Number 49, appraisal fee paid at close of financing transaction. Question, I have a potential lending client that wants to arrange for my appraisal fees to be paid at the closing of each financing transaction. Does USPAP permit this fee arrangement? Response, USPAP does not address the time frame for payment of fees. In the situation described, there must be a clear agreement that the fee cannot depend on the closing of the financing transaction. Accepting an assignment where the appraisal fee is paid only upon successful closing of the transaction is a violation of the management section of the ethics rule. An appraiser must not accept an assignment or have a compensation arrangement for an assignment that is contingent on any of the following. Number one, the reporting of a predetermined result, for instance, opinion of value. Number two, a direction in assignment results that favors the cause of the client. Number three, the amount of a value opinion. Number four, the attainment of a stipulated result. For instance, that the loan closes or taxes are reduced. Or number five, the occurrence of a subsequent event directly related to the appraiser's opinions and specific to the assignment's purpose. Bold added for emphasis. One way appraisers can avoid any ambiguity is by having a written agreement with the client detailing the manner in which the appraisal fee will be paid if the transaction does not close. Page 209, Ethics Rule-Confidentiality. Number 50, Reporting of Adverse Conditions. Question, I just inspected a property and found an adverse condition. I informed my client, a bank, and was told not to proceed because the client cannot lend on such property. Under USPAP, Am I obligated to inform any other party, such as the city or county health department? Response, no. USPAP does not contain a specific requirement to report the existence of the adverse condition. However, there may be some state or local law or regulation that applies. Number 51. Due process of law. Question. I am a personal property appraiser that specializes in the appraisal of coins and currency. I am required by federal law to report United States counterfeit coins and currency to the U.S. Secret Service. In reporting these counterfeit coins and currency, I am also required under federal law to provide them with the name and contact information of my client. Would disclosing my client's name under these circumstances be a jurisdictional exemption under USPAP? Response, no. This issue does not constitute a jurisdictional exemption. The confidentiality section of the ethics rule in USPAP prohibits an appraiser from disclosing confidential information as defined in USPAP. However, 
It is not a violation of USPAP to disclose the name of the appraiser's client. Exemptions would be if the client's name qualified as confidential information, as defined in USPAP, or if the appraiser contractually agreed with the client not to disclose the client's name. <clears throat> Even if the appraiser agreed not to disclose the name of the client, the confidentiality section of the ethics rule permits the appraiser to disclose the client's name to such third parties as may be authorized by due process of law. If federal law mandates an appraiser to communicate confidential information, the appraiser must comply with that law. Number 52, disclosing results of appraisal assignments. Question, I have been asked by my client's business associate for information relating to an appraisal report I prepare for my client. Can I disclose the results of an appraisal assignment to parties other than the client? Response, you can, but only if you receive authorization from the client before sharing assignment results with the client's associate. The confidentiality section of the ethics rule states in part, an appraiser must protect the confidential nature of the appraiser-client relationship. An appraiser must not disclose, number one, confiden confidential information, or number two, assignment results to anyone other than the client, parties specifically authorized by the client, state appraiser regulatory agencies, third parties as may be authorized by due process of law, or a duly authorized professional peer review committee, except when such disclosure to a committee would violate applicable law or regulation. Bold added for emphasis.